I am attempting to bust 100 different sports myths to see what out there is actually true and what is just a myth. Deflated footballs are easier to throw than regular ones. Johnny's gonna test it, he has a regular one. This one is deflated. And, damn. Tom Brady and the Patriots got exposed for this. Let's see if it's really worth it. The regular football went a little farther, but it was pretty much the same. Now let's test accuracy. Johnny's gonna take two shots with the inflated and two shots with the deflated. Deflated football, that's how the women like it. Oh, I heard that. That skimmed it. Ooh. Hey, now the inflated ball. Okay, 0 for 1. 0 for 1. All right, there it is. Myth is confirmed. It is easier to throw the deflated football. It's easier to catch a football with gloves on. We're gonna test both. Gloves first. Oh my God, that was fast. I caught it. All right, gloves are too easy. I'm trying one hand. Hey, these are nice. This is really a cheat code. I don't even know if I need to test the other thing. The myth's just true. Going in raw, boys. Honestly, those things make it so much easier. Myth is confirmed. There's a bowling myth that the heavier balls are better because they get more pin action. We're both gonna take two shots with the eight pound ball and then two shots with the heavy ball. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, okay. Pretty solid. Fourteen pound heavy ball. Bang! Bang! Ah! Oh, that seems yeah. like a scam. The myth is confirmed. We hit twenty nine with the heavy ball and twenty eight with the lighter ball. It's impossible to hit a split in bowling. <laughs> Confirmed. The myth is the longer you take in your approach, the better you will do. I'm gonna do two shots with zero approach and then two with a 30 second approach. Start off with a 30 second. I have time to visualize all the pins going down, visualize the strike. Oh, what? Shot number two. Not bad. Zero approach. Oh! <laughs> myth is confirmed. The myth is that hitting a baseball is hard, so we're at the batting cage. I'm gonna see if it's really that difficult. All right, first time in the batting cage. Let's get it. This can't be that hard. Oh! <laughs> it came out of nowhere. I didn't even know it was coming. <laughs> Dude, that thing is fast. That is no joke, man. <laughs> Myth is confirmed, that was very difficult. The average amateur golfer hits the ball 225 yards with a driver. The four of us are gonna try it and we'll see what our average is. What? Ooh. What? <laughs> Damn! They don't call me Tiger Woods a second for nothing. <laughs> Where did it I didn't hit it. I didn't hit it. It's still on there. <laughs> Zero yards. Oh. Ooh. Up in the air. 300 right here. Let's go try it. 300. Hey. Hey. On average, we hit 185. Myth has been busted. <laughs> My fault, y'all. I uh, no brought problem. us down. Yeah, yeah. Golf is the hardest sport. Nope. Hey. I should be able to make this one for sure. <laughs> Myth is confirmed. This sport is too hard. Anybody can putt, a professional hits four out of 10 from here, so we'll see what I can do. This can't be that hard. Oh. <laughs> oh! Oh! Please! Oh! Oh, oh yes, sir. What? Okay, all those chickens. Last try. Putting is extremely difficult, myth busted. The myth is that Tom Brady is slow. Now in his 40 yard dash, he got 5.28 seconds. If I can beat it, he's definitely slow. And in the comments, you guys routinely call me slow. Three, two, one, go. All right, so he started off very slow. He's moving pretty quickly though. 
546 on your first attempt. Not bad, but slower than Tom Brady by. Slower than Tom Brady. Tom is fast. Combine though, they do get two attempts. Time to beat is 5.28. So I don't think he's gonna beat it. He starts off very slowly. But I think he's got a faster top speed this time. <laughs> nope. 5.5, so just about the same as last time. The myth is still confirmed that Tom Brady's slow. I'm just also slow. <laughs> there is a myth that you actually run faster without shoes on. So AJ's gonna run with shoes and then without. All right, whenever you're ready. He looks ready. He's going. He's fast. Aye! Right. 4.81. That was crazy. You are fast. Forces. Damn, bro. I'm fucking slow. Go. He's going. He's a track star. Speed. 5.38. The myth has been busted. There is a myth that three basketballs can fit through a basketball rim. Now, Sports Center posted a video, and in the video, the dude said it was possible, but is he capping? Let's find out. Nah. No. Yeah. Boom. It's cap. All right, now let's myth two basketballs can fit in it. Bro, that dude was just straight up lying to everyone. Two. Two. two can fit. Three does not, but two does. Free throws are free. I think we could just ask Shaq about that one. That's busted. Mm -hmm. They're not. They're low-key hard. Corner threes are the easiest three-pointer because it is the shortest distance. I am known as a corner specialist, so this might be kind of rigged. Yeah. Four from the corner. Confirmed, corner three is the easier three. The next myth is you can make a jump shot in 0.3 seconds like Derek Fisher did. They get it to Fisher. He scores! Oh, Derek God. Fisher! Fastest shooter of all time. Here we go. Bang. Tell me that was under 0.3. 0.26. Yes! It is possible. Myth busted. Defense wins championships. NBA Finals game seven. Myth is confirmed, defense does win championships, and in the last 25 years in the NBA, 23 of the champions had a top 10 defense. Myth confirmed. It's harder to shoot on a double rim in basketball. I'm gonna take 10 shots here, and then 10 shots on a regular hoop. Hey, okay. Oh. Hey. Oh. Ah. Three for 10, 30%. Now we're shooting 10 on the regular. Ah! Bang. Pull up. Well, I've already beat the double rim. So yes, it is harder to shoot on double rims. Fielding ground balls in baseball is easy. I've never really played baseball, so we'll see if it's easy. We're gonna try to catch five. Oh. Hey. Oh! Bro, I'm nice! Bro, this is easy. Give me a hard one. <laughs> I got four out of five and I don't even play this sport. Myth confirmed. Catching fly balls in baseball is easy. I'm gonna try to catch five. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> myth busted. That is way harder than it looks. The myth is any athlete can be a pitcher. High school pitchers throw around 70 miles per hour. So let's see if I can match it. 63. 63. I'm hitting 70. 68. Oh, two more. Damn, bro. I'm a freaking natural. 56. Oh, natural. I got 68, so I didn't beat it. We're going to see if AJ can do it. Ooh. Ooh, that was nice. That's 65. Oh. Ooh. 69. Oh, boy. I got 68 miles per hour. AJ got 69, so the myth has been busted. Respect to all the pitchers out there. The myth is that goalie is the easiest position in soccer. Goalie is definitely the most boring position. You don't do anything for 90% of the game. We're going to test it. I have never played soccer. No chance. If Johnny can block two or more, then it is easy being a goalie. Oh! oh. 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 
Myth is busted. Shout out to my goalies. All the goalies in the comments like, yeah. yeah. There's a myth that girls are better shooters at basketball than guys, so we're gonna see who can make it first. All right, Haley. Oh! <laughs> Haley doesn't play basketball, so we're gonna bring in a female who does play basketball. Ephraina, excuse me. Ephraina? Excuse me. You're a hooper? <clears throat> Hi, I hoop. No! All right, the myth is confirmed. Girls are better shooters. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. There's a myth that you jump higher in these shoes. These are the APLs, and they were banned by the NBA. You cannot wear these in an NBA game. Something's going on right here, but it's supposed to make you jump higher, so we're gonna test it. First, we're jumping in the curries. Oh, there it is. That was my max height. I'm gonna put those on, see if I can reach it. See if this gives me a little boost. Oh. oh. You got it. I touched it, I touched it. These shoes are banned from the NBA for a reason, myth confirmed. The myth is that Michael Jordan is the GOAT. Now this is a heavily debated topic. Is it LeBron, is it Kobe? We're gonna find out today by seeing which treat Humphrey takes. The one he takes decides who is the GOAT. Okay. Oh, he's, he's, he's out. <laughs> no, Humphrey. Humphrey, <laughs> Humphrey please. No way. <laughs> no way. Oh. Oh, <laughs> it's LeBron. It is LeBron James. The myth has been busted by Humphrey. Round of applause for Humphrey, everyone. According to the movie Air Bud, dogs can play basketball. Let's test it. We're gonna see if Humphrey can make a layup or a shot. <laughs> he wants a three-pointer. <laughs> myth is busted. Dogs cannot play basketball. It is harder to shoot a basketball after lifting weights. First, let's take some shots before lifting. Before weightlifting, five shots. All right, four for five. We are back, dare I say, six pack by December. Oh yeah, did you just zoom in on that? It's by December, bro. It's literally summer. Workout is done. Let's get five shots. Oh no. See, I feel like after you work out, you gotta recalibrate your shot. Oh! Oh man. Ah. After working out, two for five. Myth is confirmed, all hoopers know this. In the movie Space Jam, Michael Jordan drinks Mike's secret stuff and becomes the best basketball player ever. Let's see if it really works. Try and guard this. What's up, baby? Ah! I'm feeling it! You still didn't even guard me. Not with Come on, Mike's secret stuff in you. I don't think I drank enough. I needed a bigger swing. It ran out of juice, but it was working. Myth confirmed. There is a myth that you can swim faster underwater than over the water. So I'm gonna swim across the pool, time it. Gotta touch this side to that side. Time. 7.46 <laughs> seconds. All right, we're trying again. Uh, 10.01 seconds. Uh, myth is busted. You go faster on top of the water. It is easier to lift weights underwater than normal lifting. So we're gonna see what my one rep max is, what I can't do, and then try to do it underwater. This is 175. No, 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 there's no way. I can't do 175, so we're gonna see if I can do it in the pool. We have now made it to the pool. 175 pounds. I couldn't do this inside. Let's see. <laughs> All right, we need to figure out a way to hold my legs down. We're gonna have Mitchell step on my feet this time. Oh. Easy. Ooh. Easy. Yes! Let's go! The myth is confirmed. I'm actually shocked. There is a myth that if you take a wine bath, you get better at basketball. I know this one is super weird. Amari Stoudemire used to do this before every single basketball game. This looks very unappealing. Okay. This is so weird. I am now in the wine bath. We'll even add some more wine. These are my wine, my wine boys. Let's go. Yes. Add you the want me to wine. Pour it on you? Please. No. You're gonna make everything. <laughs> you got this. There's a lot of wine. I already feel like a better basketball player. I feel like this has to be true. LeBron loves wine. Hmm? What is it supposed to do? I don't know. There's no pictures of Amari actually doing this. <laughs> really? Why are you just capping the whole time? Oh. Hey. <clears throat> yep, that's wine. All right. It's time to go to the basketball court. Fresh out of the red wine bath. Let's test the skills. Wait, 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 that guy, wait, that guy, wait, that guy. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey! <laughs> 
Myth 100% confirmed. If you enjoyed this video, you'll definitely enjoy people who celebrated two early and zero IQ sports moments. Go check them out right now on my second channel. Peace.